Hello, and welcome to my channel where we may be dazed, but we are not confused. This is a stargazer reading for the sign of Virgo. So the purpose of this reading is to take a look at what you can do to become more closely aligned with the star that shines brightly within you. We are going to be using the Mystical Shaman Oracle, and so let's get started. So the wound that you may be facing that could be holding you back from aligning with this star within you um, is that of feeling as if you have to give away the best parts of you or give up something of value to yourself and just the sense of loss and mourning that comes with that. Um, the card is called the sacrifice. And so, you know, this could be, I feel like this could be a family situation, a work situation, personal opportunities, just things that for some reason you felt like you had to pull back on and that you couldn't participate fully in. And that it could be something that you really, really valued and that you really cherished. With this being a reading about what you can do to be more closely aligned with yourself and your, your highest possible destiny, the one that gives you the most passion and fulfillment, I feel like this is speaking to the sacrifice of the thing that brings you the most passion and sense of joy and purpose in life. And I feel like the fact that this is an old wound is speaking to a sense that you did this a long time ago and you've always, you've already kind of accepted that that's just the way it is and that that's what happened and kind of let it go. But you have this wounding of the loss of it, the sense that, you know, with it being a sacrifice, it's not so much in my opinion, that it was taken from you, but that you freely chose to give it away. You freely chose to kind of let that go. So the story that would be beneficial for you to let go of so that you could write a new story is this sense of being very caught up in the upper worlds. So the realm of angels and luminous beings and the departed in the afterlife that go there after, after their journey to the light. Another um, word for this would be heaven, the heavenly realms. So what this is saying to me, because I know it sounds counterintuitive, but in this position, the message that this is giving me is that there is a need to not be so disconnected from your soul purpose here in the now because you've kind of let that go. Like, I feel like you made a decision a long time ago to just give that up. And, and you know what, with the sacrifice, this is actually speaking of giving something up to the divine. So it's almost like this sense that you are giving up your sense of being fully present here in the hopes of being more fulfilled in the heavenly realms because certainly a lot of beliefs are that you know this is the place where there's no pain there's no suffering everything goes right um if you've had a very difficult or um harsh life or things didn't go your way or you just didn't have an experience that was um fulfilling or peaceful, that this is where you go to experience that. And I feel like for you, there's this sense of disconnecting from the present, from your life, and at some level kind of disconnecting from your soul and just projecting yourself up to the heavenly realms and focusing on the energy that's there and what will happen when you fully find yourself in that realm as opposed to being fully present in the now and trying to take some of that peace and some of that joy and create it on earth is what I'm picking up here. You know, also, you know, angels and 
light beings and luminous beings and ancient ones and ancestors and loved ones that pass on, you know, it could also be a message about becoming overly dependent on that realm and not recognizing that their role is to help you when you get off of your path to get back on your path while you are here on earth so that when you do join or whatever your personal beliefs are on that when you when these energies come together in the heavenly realms there's a sense of reuniting but it's not to replace your experience on earth or to try to bypass your experience on earth. It's to provide comfort and guidance and help when we come across difficult challenges and obstacles and things like that. Maybe even to redirect and, you know, sometimes, you know, help us get back on the right path if we're so, so far off, but not to interfere to the point of actually interrupting your entire life experience because that's a part of your soul's journey so this to me is saying that there is a need to focus more so not just totally on the material but to have a balance to where you can see the totality of your experience in your life as it is, as being connected to and integrated with your life in the heavenly realms. And I'm just very, I'm very much picking up the energy of someone who is kind of like they, their belief is that, you know, you know, like I, I was raised in um, like the Southern Baptist churches and it was kind of like, you know, when all my trials and tribulations are done on this earth and I'll go to the sweet home and it'll be that. And there is almost this sense of um, needing to just deal with and just kind of trudge through life here because in the end it's going to all be worth it when you're not here and you don't have to deal with this. And, you know, certainly, you know, coming from my background and my ancestry, there was a lot of difficult and trying experiences that, you know, my ancestors and people in my culture dealt with, and it helped them to be able to get through that, knowing that there was something more beyond this experience. But I feel like this is saying, in order for your soul to get the fullest experience or to get the most they can out of this whole incarnation, it's going to be important to be here and to go through the growth, to take chances, to succeed, to fail, to experience and allow that to help you grow and change into the enlightened soul that will join those realms eventually, okay? So the wisdom that you can acquire to help you do that is by being cognizant of how you live your life, looking at yourself, your life as kind of like the tree of life. This is literally the tree of life card. It's important to not just be a tall tree that reaches up into the heavens, but to have roots that are also deep enough to support that tree. So this is you. Are you so disconnected kind of from your life and somewhat ungrounded that and you're reaching so high up into these realms, but you don't have this, the roots and the structure, the foundation to support that. If you have shallow roots that don't go deeply into the ground, the tree will fall over. All right. The life comes apart. The, um, it's just not structured. So what this is saying is that you know, it's important for you to look at 
the nutrients that you have in your soil that can help you to grow strong as opposed to trying to just kind of bypass the process of the experience of what you're living. So this is saying that, you know, if in the past you felt like you kind of just gave up on your, your having the kind of life that you want or having any kind of joy or having any kind of peace in your life, this is saying that it's important to maybe take a look at what you feel is missing from your life. What is it that you need to have heaven on earth? What does that look like for you? What kind of relationships do you have? What kind of environment are you in? What are the feelings that you have? What are the things in your life that make you feel as if you don't have that? And that the only reprieve that you'll have is someday in heaven. Sometimes our state that we have now is a reflection sometimes of our afterlife, you know, how we view our existence. You can have, you can find heaven at the park, you know, you can find it sitting out in nature, you can find it playing a card game with a friend. You can find it, you know, taking a walk somewhere, reading a book, spending some time with yourself, you know, taking a warm bath. You know, it's that the state of being. It's almost like a state of being is what I'm picking up here for someone. I also feel like you're being asked to think about the dreams that you may have sacrificed in the past and gave up on and said, you know what? It's just not for me. This world is just too corrupt. It's too this, it's too that. It's not for me to do that. The only help that I'll get, the only reprieve I'll get is to, you know, wait until I get to heaven. This to me is saying, what dreams do you want to awaken? What do you need to do in this life that you could put action and energy towards in order to co-create the type of life that gives you heavenly feelings or puts you in a state of feeling whatever that is peaceful connected loved a sense of joy abundant happy Lighthearted. What are the things that you need to do in your life to experience that? What kind of seeds do you want to plant? Because your seeds are constantly growing and bearing fruit in your life. Take a look at the fruit that is growing and then ask yourself, what seeds am I planting? Or what seeds am I allowing birds to kind of drop in their droppings or, you know, people they're walking by and they're dropping stuff in my soil? What seeds am I allowing to grow in my soil that are creating fruit that is so unappealing and so not delicious that... My only hope is to just not bother, not eat any fruit, and then just wait until, you know, the whole experience passes me by. I'm just going to retreat from my life and just kind of let it just let whatever happens there happen. And then I'm just, you know, I'm just going to, you know, I feel like that's what you're being asked to do, because when you do that, it will allow you to be conscious and mindful about what kind of seeds that you need to sow and give it time to create the kind of fruit that you want to see. Fruits of the spirit. I feel like there's this sense of wanting to be in the spirit realms with spirit beings, but not quite being in a state of manifesting the fruits of the spirit. I feel like it's important to try to get the fruits of the spirit in this physical life so that you are already in that state 
and it's not this shocking shift of this realm or this reality where you have fruit that is not of the spirit and by that I mean it's not in alignment with what you want to live it's not in alignment with your life it's to the point where you feel like you just have to just let this whole life go I'm not going to ever get what I want I'm not going to ever be happy really I'll never fully be at peace so I'm just going to kind of let this one ride out and you know I feel like it's important to be mindful of the seeds that you're planting because if you want to be more connected to the spirit realms, it is important to try to have the fruit of the spirit in this life, okay? So, possible destiny here, if you mind if you're mindful of this and you take this into account and you try to align with your soul and what it wanted to do when it incarnated and came into being in the physical realm you will have a soul retrieval and I've actually been getting this card a lot and I think that's awesome because that's what we're talking about here almost soul retrieval this is going to allow you to Get back the parts of yourself that you may have felt were lost and fragmented and separated from yourself. With this, I almost feel like it's like a separation from God. You feel separated from a higher consciousness. And that feeling is making you feel separate from the world that you live in and isolated from that. And it's causing you also to not be even connect it within yourself but you can become more in alignment with yourself which puts you more in alignment with the people around you more in alignment with your environment your actions that you take to create the kind of experiences that you have and it also puts you in alignment with the spirit realm. But this is not just done by reaching your branches all the way up into the sky and reaching into those realms. It's also done by digging your roots down deep into the unconscious. So I feel like there is a lot of perhaps shadow work or um, a sense of kind of dealing with some of the darkness or some of the things, maybe hidden feelings or things that might be stuff that you let go of that you don't want to deal with that could be blocking you. And just taking a look at that could be helpful in helping you to kind of dig those roots deep to be grounded so you have a space from which to reach up into the sky. Also keep in mind, like we said, in the upper world, and that's the card here, that I'm using to refer to this heavenly realms because that's the realm with the, the angels, the luminous beings, the ancient ones, the departed loved ones that have traveled to the light. This is how they are kicked into action to help you is when you are in that unconscious and you're needing, you may have forgotten who you are and you're needing help for redirection because from their perspective and their vantage point, they can see the totality of that and how it connects with your earthly life and can help from there but then you have to take on, they cannot live your life for you and experience your life for you. You have to take on that mantle and, you know, pick up your own cross and, and carry it and live out your life, be a conscious creator in your life, connect with your soul, find your destiny, who are who are you who am I who did I come here as how did I want to show up in this world before this person and that person in this situation and that situation created obstacles and blockages and things like that that told me I couldn't doing that and putting your effort into overcoming those things but doing it with a sense of trying to create joy and wonder in your life with what you have and where you are and learning the lessons while you are here will help you to have a more mindful 
peaceful, soul fulfilling journey while you are in this realm. All right. So Virgo, that is what I have for you for your stargazer reading. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for joining me on this channel where we may be days, but we are not confused. And until the next video, bye-bye.